Hey guys, James with Target Vision. Just a quick video to guide you through our new Android app. Before I head into the app, I want to make sure that the power save mode is disabled. If you're connected to a Wi-Fi network, just like our cameras, without internet and the power save mode is enabled, it, Android tends to kick you off of that network. So if you leave the power save mode disabled, it won't do that. Launch the app here. For this demo, I'm using an LR2 Ultra HD. We'll jump right into the left-hand navigation menu. First two items are set caliber and range to target. These are important for your live grouping and zeroing. But the set caliber is going to adjust the shot spotters to the size of your bullet hole, which will make it more accurate for the group sizing and range to target helps with the zero calculation. Also, it tags your screenshots and videos with the data on the top. Frame rate is a major improvement. Uh, our previous app was running on the low frame rate, which is about three frames per second. Um, this, with this app, you'll be able to throttle it up to high, which is about 20 frames per second. The reason we left this in there is if you're trying to run the target visions close to its max range or well beyond its maximum designed range, you have the ability to throttle it down and it will help with the performance. Markup is going to be your text overlay colors or the shot spotter, the number colors. So depending on your background, you can adjust that to help you see it better. Units, English or metric, display, linear, mills or MOA. Blink rate is going to be the speed of your last shot flashing, not the duration. Gallery, you can select between images, videos or albums. And if you go within each screenshot or video, up here on the top right, that's how you export the videos out, or screenshots. We'll move right into the right hand uh, menu here. You're going to be using this menu quite a bit. So you can adjust the colors or adjust the sizes there. Take a shot and mark your hole. Change the colors for different shooters or different loads. Live group in zero, I will get to here in a second. Down on the bottom uh, bar menu, all the way left, that's your camera selection menu. This is where you're going to set up multicams. It will toggle between the additional cameras that you add to your system. The most important item here is going to be the toggle. HD is for your marksmen's, your LR2s and ELRs. If you have the UHD selected, that is only for the Ultra HD series of cameras that we have. The eyeball is going to temporarily hide the shot spotters for you. The backwards arrow, that's going to undo um, your shot spotters in case you make a mistake. The last icon here is the crosshairs. That's going to be your last shot flashing. I'm going to uh, create another video to go into that further. The middle icon, the chevron. One quick press is going to create a snapshot for you. Have save or dismiss on the bottom. And a long press on the chevron will start the recording feature. We'll go ahead and move into live group. It's asking you to set the caliber. Now it's asking for mark reference point one. So with reference point, you need to know a fixed distance on your target. So this one is a one by one inch grid. So I'm going to use the grid as my fixed distance. 
So it's asking for mark reference point one. Now mark reference point two. Hit set. And I know that's a one by one inch square, so I'm going to tell it it's one inch set. So now when I take shots, it will now calculate the group size for me at the bottom. If you notice, the shot spotters have a dark ring around them. That is what it's basing its calculation on, the fur furthest uh, group apart, or the furthest shots apart. You can add more groups if you like by hitting the plus sign. It's going to automatically change the color and start a new group. You can have up to four groups uh, at one time. Now if I switch over to the zero function, it's asking me to mark the aim point. So I'm going to aim for the center of the target and then it's mark and then mark your round so where i actually hit and then it will give me the recommended adjustments i need to make on the bottom i can add another zero for the next shot so let's say i came in here make some more adjustments hit it again And that's it there. And just hit the X to exit out of it. New session. This is where you're going to set up your new album. So if you set up a new album, this is where within the album is all the screenshots and the videos that you create will be stored within this album. So it's going to automatically set up the, the date for you. Just give it a title and you can add notes if you like. Big thing here is to eliminate the keyboard from the app, you have to hit the back arrow on your tablet and it'll bring up the save on the bottom. Now I can go back to shooting, create more shot spotters, create screenshots, create videos. I can go back into the session and create or add more notes if I like. Again, hit that back arrow and you have the ability to save or end the session. Once you're done with the session, just go back into it and end session and you can start a new session if you'd like. That's about all I have. Uh, I will get a video going for the last shot flashing feature. If you have any questions, feel free to hit us on the targetvisioncam.com under contact us. And also feel free to give us a call. Thank you.